G'day, Mick from Z Girls Australia here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a front folding bench on your 700 series Z grill. If you've got an older 700 series Z grill that doesn't have the mounting holes on the left and right hand side of the drum, you can use this stencil to drill holes for the mounting points. Check the description below for a link to that video. Let's have a look at the components that are included in the kit, starting off with the wooden bench, or essentially it's a wooden cutting board. Nice deep moat here, so it's gonna catch any of the juice if you're cutting any meat on here. You got the folding brackets which go on the bottom of the board, the side brackets which attach to the drum and to the bracket here, and the screws, washers, and nuts. If you've got a drum with the mounting points already on there, then you won't use the stainless steel ones on the side of the drum, you'll use the black ones that are already provided. Two drill bits included in the box. The big one is used if you're drilling holes in the side of the drum, if you don't have those mounting points. The small drill bit is used if you are gonna pre-drill a hole to mount one of these knobs on the side of the board somewhere. These little screws are used to attach the brackets to the underside of the board, which is what we're gonna do next. Let's start by flipping the board forward so the degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius are pointing forward away from us, which is where the front of the grill will be. And then we can put these two folding brackets, which just unfold like so. We can put those so that vertical face is facing forward. Now with any normal Phillips head screwdriver, we just want to uh, put these into the three pre-drilled holes. Very important tip here, put your finger on the screw like that so it goes down into here without dropping it like I just did a few moments ago. Screw these into place. Next step is we're gonna put these brackets here, these L brackets onto the front of the folding bracket here. And if you look at the orientation, we want it to look like this. Now in terms of our screws, we wanna go screw and then a big flat washer. We wanna go from the outside towards the inside of the bracket. If you have it coming this way, the end of this screw will actually contact the drum. So it's important to have it going the right orientation. We then put on another flat washer on the inside, a spring washer, which is gonna help keep everything nice and tight, and then one of the nuts. Just use a pair of pliers or vice grips like this to hold the nut in place while you do the screw up. We can now go ahead and put the bench on the grill. Now it's just a matter of putting our black screws in. Nice and loose to begin with. Line the brackets up. Now we're finished, you drop the bench down, you just push up those two levers, drop down, and then clicks into place. Now this small amount of movement up and down is perfectly normal because that's what's required to unlock and then lock into place the bracket on the underside. So don't worry if you've got a little tiny bit of movement on your bench like this. Included in the pack are two of these little knobs which you can put anywhere on the board, but you've got to drill your own hole. That is what the small drill bit is for. Make sure that you are vertically in the middle of the board and left and right you're also nice and straight. Make sure the hole is nice and loose by going back and forth a few times. It's a really good idea to wear a pair of rubber gloves like this because these are a bit slippery. Okay, job done. Perfect for our koala claw. 